how do you break down and interpret the guaranteed analysis on a feed label? Are you uh, Mackenzie? No, I'm not, <laughs> but that's an excellent question. And I brought some of my favorite rating materials. This lovely lavender book is, uh, we call it the AFCO Manual. And it's a quick read. <laughs> <laughs> and you can tell I'm reading it because it's, it's marked, right? <laughs> it stands for the um, Association of American Feed Control Officials. And it's one of the resources we use here along with the NRC, the nutrient requirements of horses. And that's how we just make, make sure we're correct with what the requirements are to feed horses every day, what labels say, what our labels say. So I'm not sure exactly what she's asking. I'm just going to take a stab at it. The things you see on labels are, of course, the product name, um, the species it's for, the class. So like the species would be horse and the class would be foal, breeding, adult, okay, the different life stages, okay. Um, the quantity, so a bag of feed would be 50 pounds, a smaller thing might be, you know, five pounds, that has to be on there. The manufacturer or distributor name and, and address, so you can, you can find them if you have questions. Um, the purpose statement, like, you know, who and what it's for. And then, of course, the, the GA, which is the guaranteed analysis. That tells you, um, Usually, some things are in percentages, and some things are in uh, parts per million, and some things are in international units, and there's reasons for that. This group got together and said, let's standardize it so we're all talking the same thing, so we're all talking apples to apples. For example, feed labels are in an as-fed basis, mm -hmm. so actually what's in the bag versus a dry matter basis when you suck all the moisture out. Okay. So you have to know which you're talking about and feed labels are as fed. Um, things you'll always see on a label are crude protein, crude fat, and crude fiber. You'll also then see a few minerals like calcium and phosphorus, and maybe a few vitamins like vitamin A and vitamin E. Going back to the crude protein, that's one that's always in percentage. So a typical horse feed might say 10% crude protein. And I know people talk in terms of, oh, I'm feeding a 10% or 12% or 14%. That's a little bit important, but you kind of have to do the math out and say, if I'm supposed to feed, like the one I looked at here for this, for this, you're supposed to feed three and a half pounds a day for a thousand pound horse, and it's 10% crude protein. So if you do the math, 10% of 3.5 pounds is 0.35 pounds, which is about um, uh, five and a half ounces and then it works out to 160 grams, because I, I did the math first, so I'd have a good example. This is wise. That's the, the, what you need to eventually get to. So you know that feeding three and a half pounds of this particular grain provides 160 grams of protein. Now, horses, a horse doing nothing at this size will need five to 600 grams of protein a day. So the rest is coming from hay. So the 160 grams is what the grain is providing. Mm -hmm. That's just an example of how you use the information, the numbers on the label, and break it down, incorporate math, get to a usable number. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not sure if that's what she's asking, but that's, that's how I use it. Yeah, and I think it's helpful. Um, you know, you were talking about a horse in no work needs a certain amount, and you and horse owners out there can learn those things from a book like Nutrient Requirements of Horses, yeah. which can tell you what the requirements are. Then you take a look at what you're feeding, how much you're feeding, figure out what your horse is actually mm -hmm. getting, and is he getting enough, or do you need to add something mm -hmm. to give him a little bit more? The other thing I thought of was a, a regular fortified grain might be a, a 10%. Then there's these things called ration balancers, and they sound scary at 30% protein, but you're feeding three pounds of the 10% grain, and you're feeding one pound mm. of the 30%, so you come out to exactly the same amount of grams of protein at the end. So don't be scared off by the low or high percent. You have to multiply it by how much you're feeding to get the actual weight that your horse is getting that day. Okay. A scoop is not just a scoop. Oh my goodness. Across all brands. It makes Math. a difference.